Hey, 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 good morning everyone. Monday morning, the 3rd of August, 2020. This morning's devotional is a reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 15, reading from verse 1 through to verse 11. And I would encourage you to read the story. However, I'll be reading verse 5, which reads, I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. I came across a story in my little box of tricks. Uh, it's entitled A Divine Duet, and I'll read it. At a children's music recital, I watched a teacher and student seat themselves in front of a piano. Before their duet began, the teacher leaned over and whispered some last-minute instructions. As music flowed from the instrument, I noticed that the student played a simple melody while the teacher's accompaniment added depth and richness to the song. Near the end of the piece, the teacher nodded his approval. Reminds me of also when I play guitar. I'm a pleb when I play guitar. So I play a few chords here and there, and when I link up with others, it sounds heavenly. But here's the thought. Our life in Jesus is much like a duet rather than a solo performance. Sometimes I forget that he's sitting next to me and it's only by His power and guidance that I can play at all. I try to hit all the right notes on my own, in other words, to try and obey God in my own strength, but it usually ends up seeming fake and hollow. I try to handle problems with my limited ability, but the result is often discord with others. My teacher's presence makes all the difference. When I rely on Jesus to help me, I find my life is more honoring to God. I serve joyfully, love freely, and am amazed at how God blesses my relationships. It's just like Jesus told the first disciples in John 15 verse 5, If you remain in me and I remain in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Each and every day of our lives, we play a duet with our good teacher. It's his grace and power that carry the melody of our spiritual lives. So my dear friends, as we enter into this week, two questions for you. The first is, why do you sometimes resist the help and encouragement that God offers? And the second, how could reliance on him Change your outlook and your actions in certain situations. As I leave you with those two questions and those thoughts, my prayer is that may the Lord be with you, may He bless you, may He cause His face to shine upon you, may He open our eyes that we may see Him next to us, adding richness to our lives, that our lives may become a worship of our service to Him. May the Lord be with you. Until tomorrow, goodbye.